No contact creates dumper validation. Hi guys, my name is Christine and I'm a dating, relationship and personal development coach. And today I'm talking about why no contact creates dumper validation. And so if someone breaks up with you and you instantly go into no contact, you instantly walk away from them, this is something that's going to confuse the person that dumped you. It's going to really confuse your ex because you're not fighting to save the relationship. You've basically been very gracious about it. You've accepted the fact that this person doesn't wanna be with you and obviously you don't wanna be with someone who doesn't wanna be with you because obviously that just makes you look like someone who doesn't respect themselves. You know, it's always good to not hang around in places where you're not wanted because if you're not wanted and appreciated in a certain place with certain people, then you shouldn't really be there. You should go somewhere where you are wanted and uh, appreciated. And if your ex is not appreciating you, if your ex doesn't wanna be with you, there's no point in you trying to hang around with them because obviously they don't want you around. They don't appreciate your presence. Therefore, you remove yourself from the situation and you go into no contact. You don't fight for the relationship. You don't fight to try and keep someone who doesn't want you. So doing something like that straight away and kind of, you know, uh, giving off that vibe that you're not going to, you know, stick around somewhere where you're not wanted is going to really confuse them. And it's going to make them seek your validation because obviously we all hope that if we were ever to break up with someone who was important to us, they would try and fight. They would try and do something to stop it from happening because we really care about them. But when they don't do something like that, it confuses. So therefore you would have to seek the validation. And that's exactly what a dumper would do to someone that they still really care about, to someone that they dumped that they still care about because they don't wanna lose that person's validation because they thought that person adored them. They thought that person really loved them, cared about them. And yet when they dumped them, they didn't do anything. They didn't try. They didn't try to keep the relationship going. They didn't try to save it or salvage it in any way. They just walked away. They just accepted it and walked away. And obviously we like to feel like we are important. We like to feel that if someone was, to, if we were to break up with someone that they would try because it makes us feel good. It makes us feel like we're important and we were important to that person. So therefore the ex, the person that dumps you will reach out to you for validation, to, to let them to basically have your attention so they feel like you still care about them. Because at the moment, if you've gone into no contact and you've walked away from them, they are most likely feeling that you don't care, that you never cared about them, that you don't care about them still and you don't, and that you don't love them. So in order to feel loved by you, in order to feel like you still care about them, they will need to reach out to you to seek your validation, to get that validation that you do still care about them, that you do still want them. And that's basically how no contact works. Basically what happens is they realize, the dumper realizes that the person that they dumped is never going to come back and perhaps they thought that they would always be around, they would always stick around and um, what happens is that it gets to a point where they feel like, oh my God, I think I've lost this person. I feel like I've lost this person that I've dumped and I don't really want to lose them. So therefore I'm going to reach out. If you're enjoying the video so far, then please leave a like on it and please do subscribe if you haven't done so already. And if there's anything you'd like me to discuss in a future video, then please leave it down in the comments or if you have any tips and advice yourself, thank you so much. So obviously only this kind of thing will work if the dumper still has feelings for you, is still attracted to you, still loves you. Obviously, if they've been put off by you too much or they've just completely fallen out of love with you, they've completely lost all attraction for you, and they're really, really happy that they broke up with you and they're glad that they broke up with you, then it's very unlikely that no contact will actually work on them because they have fully already moved on completely. So obviously they still need to care about you somewhat in order to want and need that validation. However, there is kind of like a middle line as well where the ex, the dumper, um, really likes validation and attention. They really like feeling good about themselves. Um, and therefore they may reach out to you to get more validation to make them feel good about themselves, but they might not actually still have that connection with you. They might just be someone who likes attention from the per from, from other people and they like to feel attractive. Like getting your attention makes them feel good about themselves, makes them feel attractive. So you kind of need to differ, so you kind of need to understand and figure out which of these three types 
this ex of yours might be. So are they the ex that still loves you and cares about you and seeks your validation because um, they still love and care about you and they want to get back with you? Or perhaps they're the person that doesn't care about you um, and they'll never reach out to you again because they've completely gotten over it and, they, and they're and they really, really happy that the breakup happened. Or they might be someone who is kind of happy that the breakup happened, they don't really want to be in a relationship with you anymore, but they may still seek out your validation and reach out to you because they like your attention and they're hoping to get that from you. So you kind of need to figure out which one of those your ex is. I mean, it could be that they might be a mixture of two of those or all three of those, you know, who knows? Um, so obviously everyone's different. Like I say, like there's three types, but obviously everybody is still different um, and they, they might have a certain kind of different kind of mixture of two of those or all of those or, or just they might just be one of those. So that's something to keep in mind. But your ex still at least has to be attracted to you and love you for the relationship to be salvaged in any way. Um, and no contact is the best way to get your ex back because of the fact that it basically shows you how this person actually really feels about you. It gives you, because it gives you time and it gives you space for that to be revealed, right? So if your ex loves you and cares about you, eventually they will reach out to you. They will do something. They will try to get the relationship back. They will seek out your validation to make sure that you still love them. Or if they don't love you, if they are really really don't care that the breakup happened and they don't want that relationship back, time will reveal all because they will never reach out to you. So it's always best then obviously to not wait around for them even if you suspect that they could still be in love with you because there's also always that chance that they're not still in love with you, unless they've specifically said either way. So it's always best to assume that they're never gonna come back so you can move on with your life. Never wait around for an ex to come back because you don't know if they will come back or not, right? But in order for them to come back, they still need to be attracted to you. I highly recommend that you watch this video on walking away in no contact and how to do it effectively to help with this kind of situation. So going into no contact straight away with an ex will reveal basically what this, how this ex feels about you, how this dumper feels about you. And um, the, the dumper will seek your validation if they still care about you or if they still like getting attention from you. They will reach out to you eventually to try and continue the conversation with you. Because when you go into no contact, obviously you stop talking to them. And um, this will confuse them and make them want to seek your validation because they need to know if you still care. They like the attention. They want to feel like they're important. They want to feel loved by you. And if they still love and care about you, then they're going to seek your validation. They will break no contact and they will reach out to you at some point. And that's why no contact creates dumper validation because they need to know. They need to know why you're silent. They need to know if you still care about them so that they feel good about themselves again. Because if you have gone into no contact and you're no longer trying to save the relationship, you're no longer begging or pleading, you're no longer trying to reason with them to try to get back with you. And once they see that you are not talking to them anymore, once they see and feel like they might be losing you in order to feel strong and certain about themselves again, in order to feel good about themselves again, they will need to seek your validation and they will need to reach out to you. And that's why walking away and going into no contact is really powerful. If you would like coaching with me, then please go to www.christineloveridge.com. Thank you so much for watching and I shall talk to you again very soon. Goodbye, guys.